Oh, <laughs> hey there, Angie Wagler. And Paul Wagler. For Rise Now. And the two minute wake up call. Well, look where we are. I don't know. Can you see where we are? Mm, anyway, uh... we're about to go into the grocery store. We're in the parking lot, so wish us well. There we go. Hope we get back out. Actually, the parking lot looks pretty good. It's not too busy, so I think we'll be okay, right? I think we'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we just, before we went into the store, we just wanted to share a quick thought with you. This verse has been going around in my mind a lot this week. It's Second Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, where Paul is writing, and he says, First of all, I urge you then to offer prayers, petitions, intercession, and thanksgiving for all people. What a wonderful verse that we should be offering these things for all people. Then he goes on to say, because I mean, the time that we're living in is really a time to be praying for everyone in the world, because uh, we're all dealing with this in one form or another, the, the, the COVID-19 virus and the effects of that. So we want to offer prayers and petitions, prayers, they're the prayers and petitions and intercessions and thanksgiving for all people. And then it goes on to say, and for kings and for those in authority. And it's been really on my heart this week that it's always good to pray for the leadership in our country and for those in authority in our workplace and those just numerous places that we come under people who are in authority over us. And it, we are called to pray for them. But now more than ever, do they need our prayers? They are making decisions that uh, are very hard to make and that the, it's just it's unprecedented times and we want to support these people with our prayers pray that god will give them wisdom and direction and they will um, be able to navigate through these difficult times so i want to uh, encourage you if uh, you're already doing it keep it up and if you aren't join with us in praying for all people for kings and for those in authority because then it goes on in that verse to say that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness and so let's pray let's pray let's pray let's pray this is the time to do that and so we want to invite you to join us in that journey well uh are you coming back in the picture angie I'm trying to get my head in <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll keep her just yeah, social yeah. distancing um, anyway uh, yeah that's all for now and until we meet again stay awake and stay alert